Hey guys, Time Itself here. In this video, I'd like to spend some time talking about judging range in Call of Duty. Being able to just look at a situation and know what the best weapon is. So I'm going to start close to far, and the closest weapon we've got is the knife. So as the game reloads here, is this a knife situation or not? I'll tell you, it is. It's a lunge right into him and get an easy kill. So the idea for this test is just to inch forward and see how close I have to get before I get the knife lunge, and you'll see here. The motivation here is that a lot of those weapon charts, a lot of the explanations you hear talk about distance to damage drop off, and they really give you no point of reference, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not sure actually what the distance in meters is for that knife launch, but the next distance out we're going to look at is 5 meters, and that is the limit of the range for the two hit kill of the unsilenced scorpion. The silencer actually halves that distance, and it may well put you in knife range to be able to get a two hit kill with a silent scorpion. Now I'm not going to go over all of the weapons and the attachment option possibilities. I'm going to try to generalize across the weapon classes because all the details, that's what the charts are for and they're there for your reference. I'm going to link to two in the description. The first one is a general one, the second one has got quite a bit more detail but it takes a little bit more to get used to. I'm not sure why I took that single shot there but you see I inch forward and it goes from a three hit to a two hit kill with a scorpion. Next we're going to look at 10 meters where the scorpion has reached its minimum damage and where the Olympiad's damage has started to drop off. The other shotgun's damage starts to fall off 2.5 meters shorter. I'm going to find this by figuring out how far back I need to move before the scorpion becomes a 5 hit kill. So you'll see the first time it takes 4 shots to kill. I put the tack in back down, back up just a little bit, fire 4 more shots and it's not a kill so it would be 5 so I found 10 meters here. And since I need a different gun for the next one, I'm just going to kill myself right here and leave my body as a marker. Alright, next is 15 meters. I'm going to find this by seeing where the aim assist no longer takes effect. And I'm using the aim assist to figure out where this is, so I back up to where it no longer takes effect. For the shotguns, the damage drop off comes to zero, and the hipfire aim assist stops at 15 meters. So you see, I can kill him, but it takes a whole lot of ammo. I'd note that 15 to 20 meters is where you're particularly going to notice the effect of the silencer on your submachine guns. And I need another gun, so I'll go ahead and kill myself again. Moving out to 20 meters, this is the end of the hip fire aim assist for the submachine guns, and also where the damage starts to drop off. And for some reason I kill myself again, even though I still want to use a submachine gun. Anyway, that's 20 meters. Next, at 25 meters, this is a pretty important distinction between the different classes of weapons. The submachine guns have reached their minimum damage, and the ADS aim assist no longer takes effect past this distance. Silenced assault rifles have also reached their minimum damage at this distance, so you would expect that unsilenced assault rifles, light machine guns, and sniper rifles would have the advantage at this distance or greater. You know, I'm betting that you thought that distance was a little bit closer for when the submachine guns reached their minimum damage. And so that brings us to the question, how far out do normal assault rifles go? And 37.5 meters is the answer. That's where the ADS aim assist stops and where the damage drop-off starts to happen. As I said earlier, I'm not going to cover all of the different weapons. I've generalized across the classes, and it's true for almost all the cases. There are some exceptions, and the attachments do sometimes change things. But I think I've given you enough reference points that you can figure out how the rest of it goes. One of the most notable exceptions is the M16. Both silenced and unsilenced, the M16 maintains damage better over range than any of the other assault rifles. I even made a whole video about the M16 and the ACOG, just because it's such a unique combination. But unsilenced, the damage drop-off starts at 50 meters. This is where all of the other assault rifles have reached their minimum damage. So back on Havana, I can't just go to the end of the street. I actually have to go onto the stairs of the building. But you'll see it's still a one-hit kill at this distance, and that is 50 meters. So I don't know why I haven't seen anything like this before on any of those weapon guides. I think this is probably one of the most important points is just being able to visually judge how far you are from your target and where your weapon is going to be effective. So thanks for watching. I hope you find the video useful and have a nice day.